Hello students, I want to provide a video that shows you exactly how to register for Cengage from within Canvas. It is very, very important that you register from within Canvas, that you do not go out to Cengage uh, directly at Cengage.com, create an account out there, you want to do that from in here. Now, if you already have had a class where they've used Cengage Publishing, no worries. You should have an account with a username and password that you can also access through Canvas. It is very important that you go through Canvas so that the two systems are linked together so that your grades and your progress transfer over into Canvas, okay? Now, prior to this, you will need a Cengage Unlimited license. You can get that if you're on financial aid or you wanna uh, purchase from the bookstore, you can do that here or you can do a purchase while registering from within Canvas. So in order to register, what you need to do is click on any link, right, that end in mind tab. So we're gonna come out to module here, okay? And in week two, right here, we'll find the first one. Okay, week one, sorry, so mind tap. So I'm gonna click on mind tap, I'm gonna click here, and it's gonna take me to the Cengage system, okay? Now at this point, I wanna create a new user account. So I'm gonna walk you through the whole system. If you already have a Cengage account, you would most likely use your COCC email, you would put this in and get logged in, okay? I'm gonna create a new student account with a new Gmail that I created because all of my accounts have Cengage accounts associated with them, okay? Um, you will want to use your COCC. Make sure that you use your COCC account. That's the best way to do this. All right, so I'm going to choose next, and I'm going to pause while I fill this out. So once I've filled this out with my first name, last name, uh, year born, yep, I'm old, and then choose Pacific Time, I'm not going to want to get any information from Cengage. I do need to accept their terms of use. I will choose next, all right? Now at this point, um, it will send me a login email and I'll go through that. So as we can see, I'm in that email account and I have this welcome to Cengage. I'm gonna activate a Cengage account, so I'll do that, okay? Now at this per point, I wanna put in a password. I'm gonna use my password manager to generate a good password. And I've gone ahead and filled that in. You want to make sure this is a password that you can remember. And I'll say set password. So once I've done that, you'll notice it takes me here. Now, if I don't have the license yet, I can just say continue and I'll be able to access the content. In my case, I have a license. Um, once you have a license, each time you click on any mind tap, it's going to take you to this for the first seven days, you should be able to say continue. I'm gonna go ahead and say enter access code, and then I'm gonna enter my access code. So I enter my access code, I choose register. So if you notice, some of you may get this, there's different access codes floating around. I definitely want this here, the correct product. I'm gonna say make the swap. Uh, if you don't get this, it would just register you directly. So you notice at this point, it says that I'm paid. I'm going to just hit continue. And it will log me in through Cengage. So there we are. I'm in here. I can close this. And now, as you can see, I am in MindTap to the information that I expected. Now, if I happen to close all of this out, okay, and come in again as if I'm coming in to uh, Canvas uh, and accessing Cengage, I'm gonna go again just on any mind tap. So actually, why don't I pick a different mind tap to show you this. I'm gonna pick the 1.6 training. I'm gonna click on training and it will open up to the exact training that I need to complete. So you can see here, skills training for module one, uh, digital technology, and all I have to do is hit start, and it will take me to the content. I hope this really helps make the registration process easier. Take care.